definitely going to say that Matthew has to take this first game. It's been a wonderful start again, just finding that well, lens. Slightly loose for Melchie Bay. Matthew's accuracy going short is, is on Matthew's point doing. at the moment. Oh, that was a desperate ask. It was a desperate ask. This is going to be intriguing. That's what I thought initially when I saw it. Shabagi shouts out no. He's going to ask her for a review. I'm sure he's got a review. This is it. We're going to see it. Yeah, he's kind of right just got into his. Yeah, there. I mean, it's not that. intentional by Shabagi. He's not trying to harm Matthew. So please understand that. But he caught, caught fat, uh, flat footed. Yep. And, uh, and then it was just a reaction, isn't it? It was desperation. It's more of a trip as well. If you just watch the movement of Shabag as he takes off here, there's a slight slip. And then he's trying to slow himself yeah, no, down as he hits he's Matthew. Not, not. Oh, oh, wow. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. That's the area. He stopped straight away. That's Wasn't actually from the impact from Shabagi. There, you see, he pulls the back up of the quickly. leg. When he plays this shot, he grabs the back of his kind of hamstring area come on come on decision no shibagi stroke to shibagi and now 10 all they must win by two points These frustrating for matthew so so available. frustrating he worked so hard to get to game ball pj he's been brilliant on the volleys as well so, oh, oh wow. Well, speaking of volleys. Thanks for coming. It's a way to finish it. And Poor service from El Shabagi. Attention to detail, not there for the world number one. And the experience of the Wolf punishing him. Well, his coach, Jonah Barrington, will be absolutely furious He'll at watching that. He'll be headbutting the floor at this present moment <laughs> in time. He's Brilliant. got it. Matthew's got the first game. What a hustle from the Wolf, Nick Matthew. One game to love. What is Matthew up to? That was a jugger duck. And now he carved that in the neck. I mean, look what happens to his wrist here. Look. Takes the ball behind him and almost, well, he snaps the wrist across. This is a longer rally. Joey, this is the sort of rally that Shabagi will be looking for. Well, that's what he needed to do. You can see the way Matthew tried to do a huge lunge for that one. His movement pattern slightly out. Hand out, 6-5. The problem you have with that slightly extreme interpretation PJs then the players will start looking for those cheap penalty points and what we are trying to encourage is the players playing the ball yeah I agree I agree and not having this stop start with strokes and lets and no lets so Nick Matthews somehow finds himself 8-7 up in this second game and one game to love up just staying in from Shabagi Oh, that's tight. He read it. Shabagi read it. It was the wrong shot from Matthew. Oh, that is Nick Matthew. He's like elastic man across the T line. The width wasn't there. I mean, you couldn't have got more full stretch, but how does he control the ball like this? Look at the stretch of him. Like a 12 foot wingspan, didn't he, across the middle of the court? Like an there. albatross. It wasn't. It wasn't with wolf's it teeth. It wasn't it's a, a weird bad cross court for Shabagi. Image. Oh, 
Well, Shabagi's appealing and Matthews conceded. That's good to see. Oh, PJ. Each player has one video review available. Done very well there. Sorry, PJ. I was just saying that Matthews manufactured a stroke scenario here. He did so well to claw that ball back previously. He's got the stroke. Shabagi screams. Shabagi screams. I don't think can't this believe is a it. He doesn't have a review. Shabagi is looking at Mike Riley. Mike Riley is under the cosh for whatever reasons this week. Matthews did so well to manufacture this scenario. I think about 70% of that rally was actually played into the front of the court from El Shabag. He's got to be careful because that's the same mistake that Ali Farag made in the quarterfinals. And Matthew was too good and, and picked him off. But when you're that accurate... So the quick boast, nine game balls for Mohamed El Shabagi. So Nick Matthew goes off court to regroup. That is very heavy hit cross court Four from El Shibagi. So Shibagi moves to eight four. He just, it's just not in his nature to give up, though, is it? No, not at all. But... Yeah. So Matthew goes off court. Absolutely bludgeoning that ball at the moment, and he's on a mission. He really is leaping into the... Yeah, he's the... going to concede. So Matthew concedes. There's no way he can carry on. Very, very sad. I mean, an unbelievable effort from Nick Matthew. Unbelievable effort. So uh, the concession for Matthew is a wise. I mean, it, a lot of players would have done it a lot earlier on. I really do hope that uh, it's nothing too serious for the Englishman with the World Championships coming up in 10 days' time. And Shabagi there, standing ovation, rightly so. Shabagi acknowledging the sportsmanship of Nick Matthew there. And now, please welcome on the court the 2016 Delaware Investments US Open men's champion, the world number one, Mohamed El Shabagi.